What is guar gum? Five facts to understand if this natural gum is healthy. No, it's not that type of gum, silly. We will explain why not later. And it has nothing to do with these gums either. <laughs> Have you ever tried reading a food label and been confused and overwhelmed by some of the terms? How could an ingredient in your favorite brand of ice cream contain a chewy substance like gum? The Doc Tablet research team was wondering the same thing. There are five important facts that will help us explain what guar gum is. First off, let's discuss what natural gum is. Fact one, not all gums are chewing gum. Quick history lesson. Chewing gums were originally made of chicle, the sap from the trunk of the sapodilla tree, or in North America, the sap from a spruce tree. Gums date back 5,000 years ago when the Egyptians used gum acacia for painting and mummification. Fast forward to modern times, <laughs> chewing gums are synthetic or man-made and contain a substance called polyisobutylene, the same ingredient used to manufacture the tubes that keep air in your bicycle tires. If that ingredient sounds scary, maybe you should have listened to your mother when she told you to spit your gum out, not swallow it. Fact two, gums come from plants. Gums are naturally occurring substances found in plants. Seed gums are made from grinding up a specific part of the seed called the endosperm, a nutrient-dense internal lining that protects the germ or central part of the seed. Structurally speaking, gums are actually nothing more than long chains of sugars bound together in a row. You might have forgotten what you learned in science class, but a long polymer of sugars is called a polysaccharide. Guar gum is extracted from the seeds of the Cyampesis tetragonolibus, or simply said, the guar bean, a member of the legume or pea family. Fact three, guar gum is a soluble fiber. Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that is not fully digested and it stays in your gut. Soluble means it absorbs water. Soluble fibers, when added to water, form a gel-like material. This thick gel spreads out in the small intestine, preventing sugar, fat, and cholesterol absorption in a healthy way. Lower down in the large intestine, or colon, fiber helps feed gut bacteria, creating a thriving environment. Fact four, natural gums are good in a group, but a boring date. Gums do not react chemically with other substances. Chemists use the term inert to describe the fact that gums mix well, but do not cause sparks to fly. For this reason, natural gums are often added to foods to thicken them, emulsify or blend them together, and stabilize them. The best example of this is ice cream. Guar gum helps spread out the fat and protein found in dairy providing that thick, creamy consistency and prevent those dreaded ice crystals from forming. We dare you to try to find an ice cream without it nowadays. In addition to ice cream and yogurt, guar gum can be found in foods like salad dressings, gravies, sauces, breakfast cereal, and gluten-free baked products. Fact five, a large amount of guar gum is needed for health benefits. So, are you still wondering whether guar gum is healthy? In older studies, a large amount of guar gum has been associated with beneficial effects on diabetes, LDL or bad cholesterol, and blood pressure levels. For significant health improvements, you really have to consume a bunch of guar gum, approximately 20 grams per day. Let's put that number in perspective. The amount of guar gum in ice cream is pretty insignificant, only about 0.2% of the ice cream's mixture. That is less than half a teaspoon per pint. Only small amounts of guar gum in your frosty dessert. You would have to slurp down between one or two gallons for a health benefit. Totally not worth the calories. We should also mention that while the small amounts of guar gum as a food additive are safe, the amounts needed for improvements in health could also be dangerous. In fact, in 1991, the FDA banned the use of guar gum in non-prescription weight loss supplements because of its association with blockages in the esophagus or small intestines. 